Today I'm with Thorsby and we've got Wrights, there they are, Wrights Agricultural Contractors in their John Deere 9900i forage harvester and they are chopping the maize here. And it's a 12 row Kemper header. The John Deere one that they're running on the front of that. Here's the next tractor and trailer, or case Puma, arriving. So that trailer's full. Kev's just waiting for the next one. So come alongside. And off he goes again. That's a trailer load just been covered up in the Bailey trailer before it heads back to the clamp. So I love being out in the field, especially down at Thorsby as well in this, oh, it's a bit misty today, a bit, uh, got a bit of the old fog in, um, but it's uh, a great place to be. You won't be surprised if you see a deer wandering past. Um, it's that type of estate. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, why not? Farming content, what is not to like? Hit that uh, subscription button, I would appreciate it. It helps the page, thank you. And if you look just up there in the background at the top centre, 
There is Thorsby Hall. And this farm is nestled within the estate itself around Thorsby, Sheward Forest and Columba Park. And what he is starting to do now is pull over the cover on top of that trailer. There you go. Covers that up for when he travels on the road. And it always amazes me, sorry the pun, watching these foragers from above. It just, I find it, I find it relaxing actually, watching as the crop gets chopped and then brought into the centre. So as we slow down, what's happening is all the knives at the front, the cutters are cutting round, bringing that maize in. As the maize gets fed in, there's some feed rollers that take it in. They're then chopped, the maize is chopped after that. It then goes into a kernel processor, which reduces that size right down of the kernels of the maize. And then that is fired into an accelerator paddle, which sends it up the chute and into the trailers at the speed that you can see. And now the team have finished at this side of the field, Spike's here and he's 6R, we've got Gracie in cab with him and Spike is just subsoiling after that forager has been along. It's about three and a half metre, subsoil one looks like a Simba, it is a Simba. And Grace is telling me to, uh, so either she wants to say hello or she say, what are you doing here in the field? One or the other. And here he is coming along. And the tractor is called Katie Jane, after his daughter and wife. He's just raised her up there to avoid a bit of leg crop. Otherwise he'd just be dragging it along with the subsoiler. Now thank you for watching, we'll see you on the next video.